All right, here we go. Story problems. Story problems are only hard if you don't know how to read them. Right? Just like reading a book. If you can't read, right, you're going to have trouble reading the book. Right? Even if you can read, you can have trouble reading the book if, the, if there's certain words in there you don't understand. Right? Okay? So, that's the biggest problem with math books is a lot of times there's words we don't understand. So, first things first, we've got to digest it. We've got to figure it out. So, I go through and I scan quickly. And, I, and I'm just going to scan quickly and I'm going to underline a couple of key things that I noticed. Some numbers. Numbers are always key, right? They don't always need to be used, but it's pretty key. So, I kind of scan through it and I go, okay, 50 cents, $16, and $2. Probably something going to be used with those. Does that make sense? Okay, now I'm going to change my color and I'm going to go through and read it and try to, try to you know, figure it out as I go through it. Yeah. So, the school band sells carnations. Do I need to know what carnations are? No. You don't need to know. Do you know what carnations are? No. They're flowers. Okay? So, and it could be carnation milk, but I doubt it. It's probably flour. All right? So, they're selling flowers on Valentine's Day for two bucks. Focus. Focus. For two bucks each. Okay? So, we kind of need to know the whole each part. Okay? Alright. That means that if I'm given X carnations, right? I thought. Then I'm going to get $2 per carnation, right? Two dollars every carnation. Does that make sense? I'm just kind of okay. I'm just, I'm just outlining it. That's all I'm doing. Just outlining this this, this problem. All right. So now, then they buy the carnations from the florist for fifty cent. Okay. So it's fifty cents for the carnations. So so when they buy them, that's going to be what? Right. Let's just say that that's why. In fact, let's change the color. Let's say that that's why. Okay? Because when, when you sell them, it's a certain amount. When you buy them, it's a negative amount. So negative, kind of, I like negative for red. Right? Or red. <laughs> Pretend. Okay, this is every color. So, um, alright, so I pay 50 cents. Is that 0.5? Yeah. 0.5 for every Y, right? For every carnation. That's what I'm paying, right? So I'm negative though, right? Right? I'm paying it so it's negative. And this is positive, right? So this one, I'm, that's how much I'm making. This is what I'm minusing, right? Okay. Um, uh, plus $16. Okay? So, I'm, I, I, do I add $16 then? Or is that negative? Because I had to pay it to deliver it, right? I had to pay it to either mess it with us. They said plus, but it ain't plus. That's a minus, right? I gotta pay it. Come out of my pocket. That's negative. So, I'm saying that that's minus $16, right? Okay. Alright, write a system of equations to describe the situation. Alright. Well, uh, uh, I don't know how we're going to write systems of equations. Did they say how many we were going to buy? No. No. So I can do a couple of things. I can say that it's 2x, right? 2x, right? Minus. 0.5y minus 16 should equal, like how much I make, my profit.